Good morning, good morning, happy Monday morning. Hope you're all good. What a beautiful day today. Absolutely beautiful day. I'm hoping you can hear me all right actually because it's quite, it's weird actually. It's, it's warm but it's blowy. So let me know if you're struggling. I can always uh, hop inside if uh, we're struggling. Welcome, welcome. Good to have you here. Just waiting for everybody else to uh, log on and join us. Good to have you here. Oh, I've got my blanket just in case it gets a bit chilly, I'll be honest with you. And this new flick that's happening. It's not what I wanted, I'll be honest with you. Now, hey ho, there we go. Morning, everyone. Say hello, let me know you're here. That'd be great. Good morning to you. A cup of tea just while we're waiting. Get yourselves comfy. Good morning, Mum. <laughs> morning, Lou. Did you read what I put on my last text, Lou, about those seeds on your bacon butter? Me? I'm very good, thank you. Very good. Back to Monday, back to a bit of routine. I do like that. Morning, Linda. Yep, good. Welcome, if you're just joining us. Good to have you here. Bear with us while we just wait a minute or so while everyone else joins us. How gorgeous is that blue of the sky behind me? Morning, Dommer. Good to have you here. Yes, I did. <laughs> Me and Lou have the most random conversations, don't we? Via <laughs> text, we have many a smile. I don't know what routine is right now. No, I've made my own routine. Dog walking <laughs> and exercise, mindfulness. Come in, do a little bit of catch work, catch up, a bit of prep, probably a little siesta as you do, and then some more work, and usually work a little bit late and do it that way, actually. Um, right, it is good to have you here. Can you all hear me all right? I'm open, because it's a bit blowy. I have got my blanket just in case. It feels all right. You don't feel over windy. I just want to make sure you can hear me all right. Let me know, someone let me know. Don't give me a chance to have another mouthful of tea. Mm. You know when you have a really good cup of tea? That's where that is right now. It's always the case. Thank you. Thank you, Luke. That's fab. It can be with tea because it's nice today. Right, are we all comfortable? I'll tell you what we will do while we're just giving it a minute or so waiting for everyone else to join. <laughs> Only because we're doing grass watch, aren't we? So, this time about, about 10 days ago actually, the field behind us that belongs to the farmer, he completely reseeded it. Um, it used to be it used to be filled with grass. I thought, oh, what's he doing here? Um, Anyway, it's reseeded it. Look at this. Honestly, we've, we've pretty much done this every day, haven't we? I just can't get over it. Look at that. How green is that? I don't know if you can see the field next door. Can you see the lines next door and the one next door? I'm just drinking my tea. Can you tell? Morning Dawn, good to have you with us. Oh, it's lovely seeing all these familiar faces. Sorry if I missed anybody while, uh, while uh, I was showing you the grass. My husband said, when did it turn into an activity that we actually watch grass grow? But that's what we're doing every day. Hey. So, beginning of the week, wanted to talk to you about, we had last week of course the news that we've got another three weeks. Um, we've done three weeks, or as my mum said, she's on week six uh, over in Spain. So we've done three weeks. We've got a bit of a routine going. So we can just carry on doing what we're doing, maybe build on that. Morning, Judith. Morning, Louise. Um, so I wanted to look at, uh, for anybody who's been kind of following the last couple of days, we've, um, I bought an A to Z in mindfulness and I thought we'd do a letter each day. I thought, oh, that's 26 days sorted, isn't it? Um, I should take us out to the three weeks. <laughs> buy some more stuff if needs be so we're on letter d today last week we were talking about kindness to yourself um and self-care and the most beautiful messages came in after i put the post on of what you've all been up to it's just, honestly me and just sit there it makes our hearts sing it's beautiful um so it's really good to see those coming in so um today is letter d it's um daily intentions but I wanted to kind of 
mix that up a little bit with daily intentions with my affirmations um affirmations are something that you will say to yourself we've we talked about this in my body is a mountain but affirmations are an extension of if anyone saw my post yesterday where i was cutting out positive words it's that what can you say to yourself instead of the oh my gosh what's going on look at the news um, i'm gonna switch it off this morning because piers morgan is absolutely and truly on a mission to find anything wrong anywhere at the moment and it's just like do you know what Piers we've all got enough on our plate without you and there's a difference between pointing things out and bringing things to attend people's attention and holding people accountable to I've got no problem with that what I do have a problem with is when people are going looking for things that are wrong hindsight's fabulous I have a real problem when you're sitting there and we're looking at why didn't they do that and comparing it. We're always being compared as well um, to different countries. And I just think, nah, we're all right. We're, we're okay. They're absolutely, we need to look at all of this afterwards or as we go along. Yeah, but it don't need pointing out every day. We don't need telling how bad this is and how bad that is compared to them and this, that and the other. So it's changing that mindset and changing that voice that's in your head so as you can see these lessons do if you're just joining us today they do stand alone but these lessons are also built to build on each other because the more that we're talking about something and the more that we do something um the better that's going to it's, it's going to stack up so i thought beginning of the week it fits in beautifully daily intentions um but i had these cards i've had them photocopied actually um and it's about different affirmations you can say but also what i love about this is you get some again i'll show you this but it'll be back to front won't it you've got some blank ones so it's, it it's, gives you permission to write down other things that you can say so feel free usually if we we're in class i'd have people doing this in the books um if you hear other people's sayings um you like them write them down so i'm going to read you a couple of this basically it's, it's quotes that you like you know we're all seeing the ones on facebook haven't we there's some beautiful ones that are out there i try and share um share some as well so i'll read you a couple from here before we go into um doing our mindfulness section and then the other thing i want you to think about if it's all right and maybe that's you, you can type it up now or type it up after is how are you using this mindfulness have you had chance to use it yet and i don't mean that oh you suddenly thought oh, i'm doing mindfulness everything's disappeared but have you had a point where you've just gone right just breathe it's all right have you had a point where there's something being on tv and you thought i'm not going to get caught up in that you've heard a conversation and just thought no you've listened to it but you've not got caught up into it you've not invested in that and we talked about scripts the other week um, someone gives you a title and you write your own script and you put a lot of drama into it and then you feel it um, so let me know if you will do either as we're going along today or afterwards um, how are you using mindfulness how is that helping you even if it's just you know what it sets me up for the day but I'd love to know um, how we're doing so these are lovely and sometimes you'll just you, i just i just pick one or two out and i think that's the one i often in class just walk around and hand them out um and sometimes they're like mm, not too sure sometimes like it's like you've read me mind sometimes it's just what we needed to hear so if i read some out and this is just what you need to hear you take it for yourself okay dog my life is one of balance i make time for everything that is important to me and welcome new adventures now, isn't that one for all of us at the moment? I'm going to reread that one because this is a good one. Again, it's about changing mindset of I'm actually isolated. I can't go out into my life is one of balance. I make time for everything that is important to me and welcome new adventures. And that's the one thing I've heard time and time again is how much people are enjoying their time at the moment um, with family or to do things that they've caught up on maybe a bit of reading um, catching up on the box sets that we've not had a chance to do I'm not saying this yay that's that's making everyone's life perfect but it is funny how we've changed some of our routines from where maybe we were doing things that we didn't really enjoy but we did them because that's what we did on a whatever whatever day a Thursday but actually now we can't do them so this is also about looking into the future what is important to you what do you want to carry on doing that you've relearned here or learned here and then what are the bits that you want to add in because those are the bits that that you really enjoy and mean the most oh i love this this is, if anybody was on our walk with us this morning you'd, you'd this is me and pricey pricey was with me this morning it wasn't quite as tranquil i'll be honest with you as it can be because he was talking about doing prices pilates and getting a leotard that boy on the way back as well I put a post on Shaka Khan was on 
and he went, he literally was driving, he just went, which I know, I mean, he's about to come out with something, he just went, I could play this on Friday Disco, I could do some body popping. I said, all right, what would that look like? Knowing full well he'd have to show me, and he's like this with his arm. And he's going, I could do this at another, and he's doing this and he went, ah, oh, my shoulder, that, that's my, that's my normal life. I'm telling you about it, but trust me, this is what happens normally in my life. So this one is from me and Pricey to all of you. I give myself permission to play every day. When was the last time that you played? When was the last time you had fun? That could be with one of your, your children, could be one of, with one of your fair babies as we do most day. When was the last time that you smiled or when was the last time you did something that made you feel good? Oh, I like this one. I am proud of how far I've come and excited for how far I am yet to go. It's just, it's interesting. It's like they've been wrought, isn't it, for right now? It's just that, that slight change in mindset, just a slight change. It's not saying that every day will be fantastic, but it is also, it's just about noticing the good in it as well. And then again, there's some blank ones there. So let's have a think about, I put a post of what could, what's your favorite saying? What would you like to have on there? It could be, I'm doing, I'm doing okay. Well done me. Every day I've done a little bit more. Every day is another day I've ticked off because if I look at where we were three, four weeks ago when we first started this, we were all in a mass panic. Whereas now, I'm not saying we don't all feel it, but we've all, we've settled down a little bit. We have our moments and we miss people lots and we miss the things that we're familiar with lots, but we've all settled down into, into a nice way of being. And I think it's, I want us to remember that. So when we do have our moments, it's there. Same. Oh, this is nice. I am smart. I am kind. I am confident. I am not afraid to be myself. That's beautiful. I'll read that again. I am smart. I am kind. I am confident. I am not afraid to be myself. I am brave. I am bold. I am fierce. I am resilient. I'm stronger than what I thought I was. Good morning, Jodie. We're just reading out some lovely affirmations before we get started for the mindfulness bit. There are no challenges I cannot overcome. I have a strong support network to help me achieve everything I want. It's like literally these cards have been wrought for this, isn't it? There are no challenges I can't overcome. We could just leave it at that. Because every single one of us, that is where we are with that. I have a strong support network to help me achieve everything I want. Look at us all now join together as we do in our groups, different groups that we're all in together. Everything I need, I already possess. All the answers I seek, I know are within me. So that's what I'd love you to do today, to have a think about what you could put on your affirmation, write it down in a book, put it somewhere that you can see it. Do several, some people kind of, I love that one. I am enough exactly as I am. Put it somewhere that you can see them. I am inspired by the people in my life and through my actions, I inspire those around me too. Beautiful. Now, isn't that better than some of the stuff that's on the TV and in the newspapers? So I want you to be creative later. I'll put a post on. What's your affirmation? So then you can put some on there. Okie dokie. So we're going to do a little bit of mindfulness now. So mindfulness is about just being here in the moment. Just whatever it is that we're thinking, whatever it is we're feeling, whatever's going on. It's just, thank you, Mum. Um, whatever, it, it's just about being where we are. So get yourself comfortable. It's up to you if you want to if you want to sit up, whether you want to lie down, whether you want your feet up. I'm just going to let you get yourself comfortable. That's going to be my last little mouthful of tea before it goes cold. It doesn't help that I've got the biggest cup in the world, does it? If I had a normal sized cup, I would have finished this already, wouldn't I? Get yourself comfortable. Get yourself your cushions behind, your feet on the floor if you're sitting upwards. And let's all of us together take a really nice, big, deep breath in. And breathing in. And release. That feels good. 
and together, breathing in. And release. And last time together, breathing in. And release. Breathing in your own time. That's a lovely message we've just had from Jenny. Jenny's all the way over in Tasmania, in Australia. She's just had a dinner and listening to us in the evening by the fireside. That's a relaxing image. I could go with that. Breathing in. And breathing out. If you choose to, close your eyes. Breathing in. any tension in your shoulders so just relax let that go allow your jaw to relax Put your tongue in the bottom of your mouth just allow that to be there relax your cheeks your eyes are feeling heavy and comfortable relax your forehead Just noticing the gentle rise and fall of the breath, the chest. Breathing in, breathing out. Feeling your hands heavy in your lap or by your side. Just putting your attention now on your feet. heavy and relaxed bringing that relaxation up through to your calves to your knees into your thighs relaxation and calm With any tension in your hips, and your glutes, just to go. Relax your belly. Everything's feeling heavy. That relaxation is just allow it to wash over you. Allow your chest to relax, shoulders. Gentle rise and fall of your chest. Feel free to close your eyes if you choose to. Good morning if you've just joined us, thank you for being here. Just spend a moment feeling those hands and arms comfortable and heavy. Pay attention to the gentle rise and fall of your chest allowing that calmness stillness just to be there just noticing just hearing what you can hear feeling what you can feel on top of your neck, any tension in your neck and shoulders, just notice, ask it to go, no need for it to be there. So D, daily intentions. Today we'll begin our day with a mindfulness exercise. We will use this exercise to set the tone for our day and think about the things we would like to accomplish today. You're sitting comfortably. If you choose to, your eyes are closed. And let's all inhale together, breathing in. 
and breathing out. One more relaxing, deep cleansing breath in. And slowly release. Breathing in your own time. As you sit comfortably in your space, if you've chosen to close your eyes, I want you to think about the things you want to accomplish today. What things will allow you to feel like the more, made, you've made the most of your day? And what we're able to do in the circumstances that we find ourselves in? Let's spend some time thinking to achieve, a job that you want to get done or get started? Is it actually that you want to spend a couple of hours with your feet up and resting, catching up on some rest? Is there a chapter in the book that you've been meaning to get out? Is there a friend you've been wanting to catch up on? In your mind, picture yourself working towards accomplishing these things. What steps will you take? What actions and behaviours will help you reach these goals? Picture yourself completing the tasks and make note of the things you do that help you achieve the goals. As you picture yourself taking these steps towards your goals, notice how your body feels. Where in your body do you feel motivated or determined to accomplish these things? What thoughts enter your mind as you picture yourself accomplishing these things? In your mind, commit to these action steps that will help you succeed today. Thinking about how good it will feel just to get started. Allowing that calm and relaxation just to wash over you. read a couple of these affirmations while you're still in that lovely relaxed state. I love my body and everything it can do. I am strong, beautiful and powerful. I choose to live with grace. Every step I take is one of love, kindness and courage. I am excited for this day and everything it brings. And this is a beautiful last one. I believe in the person I am and the person I am becoming. And in your own time, slowly start to come back. In your own time, you might just want to have a bit of a shake of the shoulders, wiggle of the feet, you might even just want to have a stretch. You slowly, slowly come back into the room. I've done my blanket out here, I got a bit chilly. Got my blanket out, you need to be warm, don't you? Coming back in. How did that feel? Be really interested to see what came up for you. Um, oh. That'd be bloodly telling me there's someone the postman's just been. Alright, it's okay. It's alright. Come with me while I can open the door so we can go out. Come with me. 
It's not like a, a budly awakening, is it? Let him out through the back door. Won't you just love a life? I'll just check, I think it was the most. Yeah, it's a postman just dropping something off. Fabulous. Sorry about that with his noisiness. Can you see my house? Whee! It's all tidy, it's all Mr. Price tidied it this morning. Good man. So, sorry, I bet you. <laughs> I bet you're all back now, aren't you? Whee! Thank you, Budley Price, for that. Um, it has been fantastic to have you here. I want to know kind of what are you what are your thoughts for today? What are you gonna get done? Um, and like I say, that doesn't have to be necessarily having a job, getting a job done. It could be that do you know what? I'm just going to I'm gonna give myself permission to do this, or do you know what? No, I am gonna get that started. Um so let me know what you're planning on doing what's your daily intention your daily intention could be i'm going to speak to myself with kindness all day um because we're often very good at kindness for other people but not necessarily for ourselves i'm just looking at the one at the side of me now he's now Budley's found a squeaky ball he's looking at me as i'll sit and what are you gonna do about it mum what are you gonna do about it so think on that note now he's got his squeaky ball um i shall leave you we've done our half an hour um all of you have lovely days i will put a post up let me know what your daily intention is what have been how have you been using this mindful um this section i love that jordan finish my crochet blanket border is your mission love to see pictures of that would love to see pictures of that um so let's put that out we'll put a daily intention up as well what are you looking to get done today and also another one on how are you using mindfulness because i want you to use it i don't want you to recognize that you're using it um like i said mindfulness doesn't make all the stuff in the world disappear what it does is it helps you be able to see how you can um you, you respond to it as a sports to react to something so have a wonderful day maybe catch you later um i'm out tomorrow morning for the walk I'm back again tomorrow at half past 10 giving you all big hugs big kisses and see you then let people know bye